Welcome to Photo Wildlife Park. My name is Linda McSweeney. I work in photos as Head of Education. Today we have a group of primary school children coming to us as part of our Discover Primary Science programme. Good morning boys and girls. Welcome to Photo Wildlife Park. My name is Linda. This is Ashling. Both of us are going to be working with you over the next few hours this morning. We're here to learn all about animals and their habitats. Bear in mind, very, very important as well. We have a special treat for you as well today. We're actually going to take you behind the scenes. Now you'll notice that some of the wildlife wardens here have been very busy early this morning. Is as soon as the wardens arrive on site, they actually prepare the morning food for all of the animals that live here with us. And for the giraffes, their leaves from trees like willow trees, for example, for sycamore, depending on the time of the year and depending on the type of tree that's in leaf. Okay, guys, we head in. Okay, then what we're going to do, we're going to take a peep inside the giraffe house just while they're outside in the yard. Here is basically the different sleeping quarters as such. Okay, both the female giraffes and their calves actually sleep within this large area here. You can see how large these animals must be. Look at their feeding troughs from overhead. It gives you an idea how long their necks actually are. So here they come, here comes our big herd. Now, bear in mind guys, that there are nine different types of giraffe that live across Africa. And the ones that we hold here in Fota, they're called Rothschild or Baringo giraffes. Finn, our youngest male, who's the one bang on in the center, is very different to the adults that are surrounding him. So every giraffe, just like our fingerprints, their coat markings are very, very different. And that allows each individual within the herd to recognize one another as well. We're also going to be bringing them on a woodland walk, whereby we're going to make them a little bit more aware of the mini beasts in their natural environment. So, and by doing so, it'll create, I suppose, a good idea as to what exactly lives, not only within the wildlife park itself, but within a habitat like a woodland setting. Even on your own doorstep, around your schoolyard, in your back garden at home, you're going to find quite a huge amount of wildlife. But the only thing is that you may not always be able to see them. We're going to give you some bulk scopes and some magnifying lenses, which will allow you to make them bigger. And by doing so, it'll allow you to spot the differences between them as well. Now, everybody that we have here in the park looks at these animals and go, oh, look at the monkeys! And you'd nearly be right, but they're not, they're not quite monkeys. These are lesser apes. Okay, there's only no difference between an ape and a monkey. Now, apes, guys, can walk on two legs. Monkeys can't. They have to use their hands to lean on as well. These are called Humboldt penguins, okay? Now, in the world, guys, there's 18 different types of penguins, okay? Only two of those live in the Antarctic. So, these actually come from South America, okay, from Peru. And they don't, they, a lot of people will wonder why we don't have ice here for them. These guys don't live on ice, okay? They like to live beside the coast, beside the sea, and our water here is also salt water. <laughs> this is another type of gibbon. This is the Simon gibbon, which is the biggest of all of the gibbon species. Now, these are very popular here in photos. They make a very, very loud noise. They can be heard in different villages around Cork, close to Fota. Yeah. <laughs> We're also going to be doing some outreach later on and the purpose of that is to make students a little bit more aware about the importance of rainforests, taking into account that most of the animals here in Fota, at least all of our primates, that would include our monkeys and our apes, actually come from those unique habitats around the world. And being an endangered habitat, I think it's, it's a priority that students are made aware of their importance in this day and age as well. Okay then, girls, thank you for inviting us here today. And we've come here today as part of our outreach program. So what we're going to do with you is sort of introduce a fun element to the program for you this afternoon. We're going to start off with a quiz. Which of these is a rainforest layer? Your choices are the undercraft, the under canopy, the understory, or finally the under layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something practical basically. We're going to do a little recreation of the rainforest. Okay, so we're going to make it ourselves, learn about the different layers of the forest. Okay, because each layer is basically a very, very important home or habitat 
to different types of animals and plants. So what we want to do, girls, is to make the four layers in the forest, first of all, making our trees and our, and our floor, ground floor, and then we can add the animals in afterwards. Our contact details would be our, for our information on our animals, so here in the Wildlife Park itself, would be www.photowildlife.ie. Alternatively, we can be contacted by email on education at photowildlife.ie. And finally, our contact number by phone would be 021 4812 678 extension 206.